Hi children, myself Archana and uh, today we are going to discuss about a new chapter which is wave optics which is one of the most important chapter in your 12th standard syllabus. Okay. Actually what is optics? Actually optics is the branch of science or physics which deals with the study of light and light related phenomena. Okay. Optics can be divided into two which is called ray optics and wave optics okay so wave optics completely deals with the wave nature of light i'll show you we have already studied in electromagnetic waves light is acting as the form of waves isn't it light is having all the property as a wave that means light is an electromagnetic wave according to maxwell's theory so you can see this is a representation of a wave which is an electromagnetic radiation, electric field, magnetic field coupled together and transmit. So definitely you already know because we already studied about electromagnetic waves in which the wave nature of light is explained. R light is one of the uh, wave, one of the electromagnetic wave as we already discussed. Isn't it children? Yes. Do you remember? So. Let us go through the uh, introduction, hmm? which all physicists involved in the wave nature of light, okay. Let us go through that uh, uh, introduction. Uh, so first we will discuss about Isaac Newton. Hmm? What he proposed means, he just explained the light phenomena only in terms of particle nature, hmm? isn't it? His theory was corpuscular theory corpuscular theory proposed by Sir Isaac Newton in which he was explaining the phenomenon of light only in the nature of particles like corpuscles. Okay. So many phenomena couldn't explain using this theory that was the drawback. Uh, so later who came? Maxwell. Hmm? Maxwell proposed the electromagnetic theory and the light is an electromagnetic wave he, all, he only proposed. Isn't it? So there are lot of phenomena which cannot be explained only using the ray optics. There are lot of phenomena. Let us see what all what all these phenomena. See, can you see few patterns here? Yeah, you can see the beautiful color patterns on the CD. You already observed in your daily life, isn't it? Many times. Okay, another beautiful example is. This one, hmm? the drops, soap bubbles, soap bubbles, how that beautiful color pattern comes, isn't it? So the uh, phenomena behind this, how this beautiful color pattern is there in the case of a CD or a drop, a bubble, etc. It could not be explained using ray optics. Why this comes? Okay, Ray optics only explains the phenomena like reflection, refraction and all. Huh? And it couldn't explain properly how these beautiful color patterns are formed. Even though there is no such color, isn't it? You know, a bubble is just like a transparent thing. But still, a color pattern you can observe only because of some property of light. That property is called interference of light. What is that? Interference. What is interference? Do you know that we are going to discuss in detail in this lesson, upcoming sessions, okay. Interference, let me tell you a brief regarding interference. Interference is nothing but uh, the superposition, superposition of waves, okay. When two or more waves are combined, such uh, phenomena you can observe. Another thing, you can see when the light is passing through a narrow slit here, narrow slit or a narrow region, what will happen? You can see some patterns like dark, bright fringes. Okay, you can see. Maybe you are already experienced, but you don't know what is the phenomena called, isn't it? So this is nothing but uh, diffraction of light. Okay, the shadow effect, all this pattern, dark white pattern is called diffraction of light. That also another detailed topic in the in this lesson. Okay, last but not the least, another important uh, property is polarization okay polarization means you can see this is a normal light huh, which contains multiple vibrations 
okay this is a normal light which contain multiple vibration in all the direction it vibrates but when as soon as it pass through a polaroid this is called a polaroid we will be studying in detail later just a brief it is okay it's a polaroid when it is passing through a polaroid the vibration can be eliminated can you see the light which is coming out is only single vibration okay so it can be eliminated hmm? this process uh, light is having different vibrations and you can uh, use a polaroid to eliminate the vibration to a particular plane that is called polarization this also the phenomenon of polarization it is called polarization and the phenomenon of interference the phenomenon of diffraction these three phenomena couldn't explain using ray optics alone which can be explained only by the wave nature of light that is the importance of wave optics okay the phenomena which couldn't explain using ray optics very well you can explain using wave theory of light okay then who put forward this wave theory let us see christian huygens christian huygens was a great see christian huygens was a great mathematician mathematician as well as a dutch physicist huh? he was a eminent physicist as well as a mathematician he only explained about the wave theory of light so it is called huygens wave theory okay christian huygens who was a dutch physicist and the theory later named as huygens wave theory of light okay so he only invented this greatest phenomena of light which uh, uh, in which it states that light is having the property of wave and it is propagating in the nature of wave and all the phenomena related to ray optics also explained by christian huygens okay that is the phenomena like reflection in the beginning of the lesson first part of the lesson we will be discussing about the phenomena like reflection refraction which already explained in ray optics isn't it we have already explained these two things how the reflection is happening regarding the laws of reflection remember laws of reflection what is it yeah isn't it that is incident the angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection the incident ray reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence everything on the same plane that is called what laws of reflection isn't it that same laws can be explained well using the idea of wave theory of huygens okay next one refraction do you remember refraction we have already studied in ray optics what is refraction the law of uh, refraction that is snell's law what is it sine of the angle of incident to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant that constant is called what that constant is called refractive index isn't it yes so they, these are the major laws of reflection and refraction the same law is well defined or well explained by the concept of huygens wave theory okay so huygen actually explained everything in terms of wave nature of light and well explained the phenomena which couldn't be explained using uh, ray optics also explained by wave optics okay children so in coming session we will be discussing about uh, the reflection of light and refraction of light using huygens wave theory okay thank you